Hey guys, it's Frank. Just wanted to give you an update on the pack lights. Here is the wand and my pack. The lights are all in it except for this one. As you can see, I'm using tops of flashlights to mount them. I don't have the wood cut for the lag bolt to go into the end filter yet. The head of the lag bolt is going to need to fit in this slot, so I can't put that on yet. I'm just hot gluing these down. I'll be able to pop them right off. In fact, I did one by accident. The boards are all inside of here. I'll turn on the light here. That way you can actually see them. That one right there is the main board. The Arduino with the wave shield is right there. And the switchboard is right there. Originally the switchboard was going to go in the uh, wand, but being that space was too tight and I spent about three hours trying to get everything to fit in there one day and I wasn't able to, I gave up on that. So um, anyways, O2, whenever I eventually turn on the second switch, you'll notice that the bar graph is going backwards. That's something that I needed to do because I could not get it to fit otherwise. The code was written for it to be mounted the other way. So I'll just have to change that. Um, you turn on this switch, the lights light up on the wand. And then you flip on this switch and you'll get the startup sound and the pack lights will turn on and the rest of the wand lights will, except for the uh, orange one up at the top which denotes that the safety is off. Now you have the startup sound, the pack is humming, the bar graph is going backwards, you have the cyclotron lights going, that one's missing, as I said it's down here, you can see it lighting up there. You have the power cell going, uh, both the power cell and the cyclotron lights are still able to be controlled via potentiometers, they're inside of there. Just take my word for it. <laughs> um, so now, as you can see, you push this button. You don't get any sound as it's for it shooting. That's because the safety's on. You flip the safety off. This light stops flashing. The orange light comes on, and then whenever you push this button here, you get the firing sound. As you can see, the bar graph is animating differently. Now I don't know if you can tell but the lights are flashing a little bit on the wand. That's because of the bar graph. They just dim whenever the bar graph's completely lit. I'm working on an external power source just for the bar graph. I don't know if I'll be able to. It's one wire so I don't see why I couldn't just run it through the uh, loom here. As you can see the cyclotron lights are still going at the same speed. So is the power cell. I let go of this and it stops shooting. I flip this switch off. As you can see, that light starts flashing again. The hat light turns off. Turn it back on. Turn it back off. And then we turn off this one. You get the shutdown sound. And then you turn off that one and the entire system's off. So that's about it. Um, this is very easy to upgrade. I actually drilled a hole for a USB cable to run out. That's the battery right there. The USB cable comes out of the back behind the Alice frame and plugs into that and I can plug that directly into my computer. I have an extension cord so I'll be able to upgrade it. Anybody that does this too, I highly suggest they do the same. It will just be easier to upgrade. You won't have to open up your pack ever unless you want to change the speed of the lights or one of your wire connections come loose. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll try and get you guys more updates as they come.